All right, here's the second box I bought today. Uh, the first eight packs. I didn't even get it as, so much as an insert in them to show you, so we'll get right to the eight quality packs, starting with two, well, let me rephrase that. Eight better packs, because I really can't consider 2007 Upper Deck Series 2 quality. I got some kind of Mike Owings 89 reprint looking rookie thing. Best hitting pitcher in baseball. 2006 top series two. Got Mickey Mantle home run number 84. The end. 2006 Upper Deck Series 2. Prince Fielder Checklist. Starting to get a little irritated at the fact that I can't even get semi-stars. 2006 Fleer. Scott Casimir, a smoke and heat Pedro Martinez insert, 2006 Tops updates and highlights, John Lester rookie, Manny Ramirez season highlights, Kendry Morales rookie debut insert, Miguel Cabrera home run derby, Prince Fielder as part of this team leader card. 2006 Flair, tradition. Got Johan Santana, Joe Maurer, Michael Young. 2007 Tops, Series 2. Josh Beckett. This must be the biggest fuck you day that I've had in a long time because I just pulled a Wes Helms trading places autograph to go with the nice game use that I pulled in my last box. <laughs> if you guys missed the first video where I pulled the jersey, I hate Wes Helms because he started over Russ Branion. Brewers and Phillies. 2006 Flair Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a Hideki Matsui RBI Kings. A Retro Lucky 13 Eric Chavez. A Pat Burrell Diamond Producers. And a Johan Santana Gold. Got Tops 52. 2006. Got a draft flashback Frank Thomas insert. And that's it. Time for this guaranteed game used envelope. Got a pre press clippings Todd Helton. Can't say I haven't had uh, at least 50 Todd Heltons in my day. Uh, much better than the last box. Um, you know, it's a bonus when you can not only get the game used, but you also get a trading place is Wes Helms autograph, which will go really nice with this Wes Helms here. I, I covered all three teams. He's a Brave, he's a Marlin, he's a Philly. So, um, I, I got a game used an autograph. It's better than what the odds say I should get, so maybe I can't consider this a sports card failure, but we are sports card failures.